طيب let's solve or continue solving the previous example طيب we said we want we are interested in solving the problem with hand calculation so here we are we have all the required equations the rate law combined with the stoichiometry the yep that's the rate law combined with the stoichiometry that's our heinous equation for k this is based on van hoff equation for kc this is t temperature equation from the energy balance and that's the calculated equilibrium conversion from kc okay you can substitute all the values and the parameters tamam and then we have very easy equations type so what shall we do what shall we do okay so for the hand calculation of course we are interested to evaluate the design equation so if you look at the design equation for plug flow reactor integration of f a naught over minus r a minus r a dx so that means if you want to evaluate this equation numerically right hand calculation that means you need to first find f a naught over minus r a versus x and then you can use simpson third rule simpson three over eight rule and so on okay so let's first then choose the values of x so we said the interested conversion is, or the desired conversion i should say is 0 0.4 40 percent so we divide it into three points 0 0.2 and 0.4 if i had more time i would divide it to more points to five points 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 okay so for now we divided the conversion into three uh or two segments actually with three points type for x equal to zero we substitute for the value of x here and then we find the t so we find the t and then after we find t we substitute for t here and here or maybe i should say <laughs> i should uh, circle the t's here and the x there to mom and then I can find K kinetics and KC thermodynamics. There we go. Rate constant, equilibrium constant. From the equilibrium constant, you can find XE. Right. Let's go to the rate. We have X already. See, we have X already. So we substitute for X here. We have the value of KC. You have the value of K as a function of x all of them and you can calculate minus ra so we calculate minus ra and then we can find if a naught over minus ra for the different values of x now you can use these so here you will use one third simpson rule to evaluate the integration with hand, numerically with hand calculation in this case okay what about if you want the CSTR volume well that's even easier because for CSTR the design equation is V equals F A naught over minus R A times X so the X that I'm interested in is 0.4 so mom and the function is this so you multiply these two together and you'll get the volume of a ccr so we evaluated or we designed to the, uh, both reactors black flow reactor ccrs with hand calculation okay can you see the living speed plot and you can see the shading that represents the volume of CSTR and the volume of plug flow reactor and in this case the required volume to achieve 40% 40% 40 
for CSTR is smaller than that for plug flow reactor. That is because the CSTR is operating at the exit concentration, which represents which represents also the exit temperature, right? So it's operating at the rate of reaction that is evaluated at the exit temperature and concentration, which are the same as those inside. And after 40% conversion, actually, because the reaction is exothermic, we have enough heat released from the reaction, which stays inside, which raises the temperature. So T in this case is higher than T naught, right? So you can see that the CCR is operating at the highest temperature and therefore the highest rate of reaction. See, the, the minimum point is actually reflecting the highest rate of reaction. So, compared to the plug flow reactor, where the temperature starts at T0 until it reaches T, right? So, and it starts with a low rate of reaction and gradually operate at higher rate of reactions. Come on. So overall, the CSTR is operating at the highest rate of reaction compared to the plug flow reactor is operating at low rate of reaction and then gradually as you go down the length of the reactor, the rate of reaction is increasing because of the increase in temperature. Come on. So therefore, since the CSTR is operating at higher rate of reaction, that means it requires lower volume. Come on, excellent. Okay, what else? Okay, so if you remember, this plot was actually part of example 2.7. I've seen these plots together and we have commented on how the rate of reaction is affected by the temperature more than the concentration. So the increase in temperature is affecting the, the rate of reaction more than the decrease or the change in concentration at the beginning until it reaches a maximum value. After which you can see that the rate of reaction decreases despite the fact that the temperature is still increasing because now that the change in concentration, when I say the change in concentration, I mean the increase in CA and the decrease, uh, sorry, the decrease in CA, the decrease in CA and the increase of CB, um, this will affect the rate of reaction negatively, trying to, uh, will decrease the rate of reaction. However, the increase in temperature, increase in temperature will increase the rate of reaction. So at the this portion, the effect of the change, the effect of the change in concentration on the rate of reaction is more than the effect of the increase in temperature on the rate of reaction. Therefore, the rate of reaction decreases. However, the opposite is true for the first portion of the reactor. Okay. Uh, please, Shabab, make sure that the requ requested conversion is not greater than the equilibrium conversion. Um, this is something important. That's why actually we were calculating Xe to know how far X is from Xe. It's better to ask for conversion and relative to equilibrium conversion, such as 95% of equilibrium conversion. So. Instead of we saying that Allah, we need 40% conversion, we can say well, we need maybe 80% of the equilibrium conversion. This way we make sure that we are on, we are also always requesting something reasonable. For 40% conversion, we say the volume of CCR is less than the volume of plug flow reactor. Okay, so what I want you to do, what I want you to do is solve at home using hand calculation tamam using hand calculation estimate first the volume of ccr 
and then the volume of plug flow reactor tamam and then i want you to draw the levinish beel plot draw the levinish beel plot which is this plot if a naught over minus r a versus x okay so please do this at home using hand calculation for the levinish beel plot you may use excel if you want okay i want you to do something else as well which is computer calculation okay so use polymath for the design of plug flow reactor so kindly plug in all the required equations there tamam okay what do you need to plot well you need to plot x versus volume and xc as well in one plot and then temperature and then the rate of fraction all versus volume tamam so solve at home and show me three or show yourself in this case three figure for plug flow reactor next lecture okay these are the figures طيب so let's explain these figures let's explain these figures okay let's explain the conversion so as you can see x as we go the blue one the blue color color this guy so as we go down the length of the reactor the reaction progresses and the conversion increases tamam how about the equilibrium conversion this one you can see that the equilibrium conversion is slightly decreasing right slightly decreasing why is this because the reaction is exothermic operated hydro, uh, adiabatically therefore the heat stays inside the reactor which causes the temperature to increase as the reaction progresses down the length of the reactor and we know as the temperature increases the equilibrium shifts backward the equilibrium shifts toward the reactants causing the equilibrium conversion to decrease so and you can see that equilibrium conversion is reached at around 2.5 cubic meter okay so explained now two figures okay can you explain why there is a plateau in temperature here why the temperature is not increasing anymore well basically because the conversion has flattened out right so the conversion has flattened out meaning the progress of the reaction has stopped because conversion has reached the equilibrium conversion so خلاص, there is no more conversion there's no more conversion that means there is no more release of heat from the reaction that explains why the temperature stopped increasing so let's explain the rate of reaction once more okay so at the beginning at the beginning the rate of reaction is increasing the rate of reaction is increasing tamam so we know that as I explained just now let's just explain it one more time okay as the reaction progresses the temperature increases because the reaction is exothermic and run adiabatically and the concentration of a decreases because it's reactant while the concentration of b increases as it's a product so that happens from the beginning to the end tamam however at the beginning the effect of the increase in temperature is more on the rate of reaction than the effect of the change in concentration therefore the rate of reaction continues increasing until it reaches a maximum value a maximum value tamam after which now we have here great loss in concentration of a and great gain in concentration of b tamam so now we have the effect of the change in concentration 
is more than the effect of the increase in temperature on the rate of reaction. Therefore, the rate starts decreasing until it reaches zero. That's when equilibrium is reached because you know at equilibrium, the forward rate of reaction equals the reverse rate of reaction. That's why the net rate of reaction equals to zero. And that's when equilibrium is reached, as you can see here. Come on, remember Shabab? Again, that the increase in temperature increases the rate of reaction, while the change in concentration decreases the rate of reaction. You can see it clearly from this equation. As the concentration of C decreases and the of A decreases, the concentration of B increases, this decreases. Okay, so I hope now everything is clear, all the profiles are clear for you. And we'll meet soon, inshallah, in another lecture.